I am queer, and uh, I have a vagina, and I agree with it. Yes. And uh, I'm a cis woman. A cis woman, it means I agree that my brain and my body are telling one story. You see, because trans is not is not like that. It's something it's something quite different. My story really is quite simple, if I might add. Um, growing up, you know, growing up at school, they don't really teach you about lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans men, trans women, etc., etc. So because I knew I was different, but I didn't know how diff to what extent I was different. Up until I started learning about sex and gender and you know broadening my knowledge. So for a very long time, I identified myself as a lesbian woman. Up until I started realizing that, because as a trans woman or trans man, what happens is that you, the way you think is completely different to your body. So you don't recognize your breasts, you don't recognize your vagina, you don't recognize all those womanly parts. And that's when I started realizing, and I started broadening my knowledge, started studying this, I realized that I'm actually a trans man, you know? But for my family, Telling my family that I'm lesbian was a battle. Now imagine I'm going to tell him that I'm going to tell them that I'm actually trans man. You know, mm. could you imagine that that argument? You know, the first argument there was a priest, there was holy water. You know, I feel that people should debrief themselves. You know, and just come to a point where they start realizing for themselves what is right and what is wrong. Because unfortunately, religion is always going to be there, culture is always going to be there, yeah. all these things are always going to be there. But it leaves room the person themselves is responsible for their actions you know so you read something in the Bible it's up to you what you do from there on you know I've read the Bible and I know that it's wrong for a woman to divorce from man and that she should get stoned but I I'm not gonna be stoning anyone because I've debriefed myself and I've decided what is right and wrong for me you know your own principles your own morals should dictate how you move on regardless of culture regardless of going to the mountain regardless of all these other things that people inflict on you um, I just wanted to say that I think um, uh, it's so life is so difficult as uh, a hetero woman as it is so and as a hetero man or trans man trans woman so for you guys to actually want to go all the way and decide that th listen this is my life this is the best life that i want to live so literally you guys are living your best life at this point that's very that's courageous so for me this is um more of a it's not a question it's just saying that you guys are so courageous yeah. and i'd like to applaud you and i would like you to keep living your best life yeah. uh, this space is our space Although you're, you're here, although your presence is actually acknowledged, but it's very important that we actually, for point of departure, we actually understand that this is our space, this is supposed to be our safe space. And another thing, when we talk about transitioning, I'm not, tra I'm not transitioning, I'm aligning myself of what I should have become a long time ago. You are the ones who are transitioning. Thank you. Thank you so much. Basically what we're recognizing is the privilege of agreeing with your body. And it is violent to question somebody that is struggling with that agreement or needs to align themselves in a different way to that. Um, okay, so in basic English, I'm sexually liberated. So I'm gender fluidity. Oh. <laughs> so, it's so funny because when you talk about this, people are like, oh my God, so you found everything that works. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, unfortunately, unfortunately I do. So yeah, this, and then the next question that it usually comes is that, oh, so you actually penetrate them. So you actually penetrate the woman, the cis woman. And I'm like, order. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, you're out of order. You know, <laughs> because, you know, and, and, and it's so funny because we actually laugh about it, but it's so sad because tr truth be said is that people are very violent. So even when they approach you as a cis queer woman, they still have a problem. So the problem is that 
the, 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 you know, the vast question that I usually encounter is, so do you have a vagina? You know, yes, I do have a vagina. <laughs> like, let me just tell you, I do have a vagina, and it's not for you to take. It is mine to die. Because honey, I did not spend all those millions in my vagina. <laughs> like, I spent thousands of US dollars to get my vagina. So I'm not even going to get naturally let any cis head men penetrate me without accounting. Because that's, that's the problem about us as, as queer trans women. We have this tendency of self blame. You have, you're, or you probably go through gender reaffirmation surgery, and by so doing, you are supposed to account to cis head people. Why must it be like that? Does it mean because I'm trans, I must specifically have to date you as a cis hat man or as a cis hat woman? Why can't I just be allowed to date within, within my horizons? I mean, I have trans men. So when we talk about violence, I'm trying to show people intersectionality, the importance of intersectionality. And it's so sad because people don't even realize when you talk about inclusiveness within spaces and intersectionality, how imperative it is. I mean, here we are, seated as we are, but I know people are actually wondering, oh my God, she's a vagina, she's a trans woman, I need to tap that. Well, you're not gonna tap this. <laughs> because, you know, the sad reality is that people, how they view you, how they view you. You need to not speak of your experiences as a collective experience. Because I can say I, 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 me, 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 us, as a conclusion. The theme tonight is trans visibility. Trans, as in when you transition from your gender space to another gender space. We have two trans folk kids with us tonight. We have Sia, beautiful trans woman, and we have Zane, a wonderful trans man. 